Howdy and welcome, I'm Mike, your board gaming every dude, and we are going to do a solo playthrough of Cape May. The purpose of this playthrough is to demonstrate as many actions as is possible. So I'm not going to be focusing on strategy, I'm focusing more on speed and covering the actions for you. So this may be ugly. For this playthrough, I'm doing the hardest difficulty, challenging, difficulty so i'm just going to try and fly as fast as possible play along have some fun with me i hope you take it a little slower let's get started round one ai goes first boom here we go we are building it's springtime so i'm going to put a shop what a lovely shop on the dirt there cape may is going to start getting some shoppers now and we're going to go to the upgrade track Upgrade a shop to a business. Upgrade a shop to a business in the gravel lot. There aren't any, so we can skip that. Okay, put you over there. It is the season start, so they get two cards. All right, because we're doing the most challenging difficulty. Let's build again in the springtime. Oh my goodness, two buildings in the springtime. Um, but only one build action, so there or there. That's fine. House or another shop, whatever. We'll do a cottage. We'll do a cottage right there and upgrade a cottage to a Victorian in the gravel. Nothing is applicable and uh, applicable. And I made a mistake, so I'm gonna backtrack since we cannot build in the gravel we go to the next zone and or i'm sorry upgrade in the gravel we go to the next zone which is grass there's nothing to upgrade so i'm going backward to the shop remember i was supposed to upgrade there and then there's the dirt and we do have an upgrade so we could have upgraded this to this which also means he would have taken a dirt upgrade card, put over there, flip the next one over, and it's gonna be upgrading a cottage to a Victorian costs $1 less. Cool, that's not bad. Uh, make sure the house faces the right way. Now, that was the first upgrade. The second upgrade, cottage to Victorian in the gravel. Don't have one. Uh, upgrade the grass, don't have one, but we do have an upgrade to the dirt so we're going to do that upgrade to a victorian this is a terrible start i'm going to get obliterated and nothing special happens when we upgrade to a victorian we did our two upgrade actions all right going to my three actions my bonuses i'm not going to pay a lot of attention to for the sake of the but let's see have at least three buildings in the dirt and at least three in the sand plus two points if you have at least four buildings in each of these zones. Wow, we'll just see if it happens. Have the most buildings in the depicted region, that's over here, so I wanna get over here, plus two if you also have the most Victorians. So basically, I wanna get over there, but to get over there, I also, I wanna make money along the way, right? I don't just wanna be making, walking this way, making Victorians and have, or cottages, and having no income so I kind of need to get over there this way that's just what I'm gonna do that's just what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna move so I can build a shop one two three there we go discarded movement card one action if I make any mistakes please let me know in the comments if this is helpful to you if you're enjoying it please be sure to give me a like it really helps me out and lets people find me all right let's go one two three um you know what in the in the past i didn't collect enough birds um i should i'm going to take it back and i'm going to play a little risky here and i'm going to go for birds so play a two there we go play a two spend one coin used one action one two draw a bird you can play the whole game without ever collecting a bird easily so I'm just going to try it out, and I'll put the birds up there. There we go. Next action, I have to move again. I need to move two. Ugh, well that was awful and stupid. 
one, two, three, my whole plan just exploded in my face. Oh well, that's life. One, two, I was there. One, two, three, four. I need to play a four if I can count. There we go. Four. One, two, three, four. That was my second action. And for my next action, I'm going to build a shop in the gravel for two. One, two. Build a shop right there and gain no upgrade cards. Go up three income as it tells me here. Up one, two, three. Cool. That's my three turns. End of the round. Next round, flip the event card. Mount Vernon Hotel is destroyed by fire. Well, that's not a good start. Each player collects $1 for each cottage they own. AI opponent does not collect. The founder does not collect money. Only I do. I have no cottages. I'm a cry. All right. Next, AI opponent takes their turn. Boom. Here we go. They are going to build in the springtime. So that's going to be right there. They're building a cottage. Cool. If it's summer, build again. Nope. Upgrade. Let's upgrade by moving a cottage to a Victorian in the gravel. Well, they have one. So we are getting annihilated. And that's why we're playing challenging difficulty to get totally and completely obliterated, which is happening. All right, my actions. I need to build, I can go that way and build and make my way over because I just need to build businesses uh, or shops and I could really stand some upgrade cards when playing a movement card, adjust the movement value minus one or minus one for the bonus. I'm not spending all this time thinking I'm never going to be there again. But I don't need to worry about this. I need to worry about the dirt and the sand uh, as far as buildings. So whatever. I'm just going to keep moving. One space. It's going to cost me two coins. This is expensive. One space for one action. And now for my second action, I'm going to build another shop. This shop is in the grass. It's going to cost me three dollars. Give me back two and place my shop right there. Fantastic. There's my shop and I take my income up in the grass for where are you? Four. One, two, three, four. I'm at seven. That's good. I need to be a lot higher. I can upgrade to a business. Sure. All right, one more action. I can upgrade to a business. What am I looking for? Dirt, no, I need dirt and sand. I'm gonna go one, two, and I wanna start working this way. That's what I wanna do. So one, two, three, or four. I don't think I can, I don't think I have three and four. I have a three. I can move three spaces for my next action. Uh, let's go one, two, and three so I can build another before we're done next round again I'm trying to move 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 first train arrives in Cape May awesome upgrading a cottage to a Victorian costs two dollars less this round fantastic don't have anything to upgrade so you know whatever but there we go AI turn building in the spring is going to be right here that is a cottage Boom. Upgrade a shop to a business in the gravel. None. Um, grass, none. Dirt, none. They have no businesses to upgrade. Ha! I'll take it. I'm cool with that. And shuffle. Take the discard pile. Shuffle it into the AI deck. And if I want to take that um, $2 less, that would be useful. I forgot I have two bonus cards i can upgrade victorian to a landmark i don't need to worry about that but i can upgrade a cottage to a victorian for one less um, or any shop to a business for one less or i can move nine spaces i should have used that one two three four five six seven eight bummer um 
I'm one space off. Move nine spaces. Oh, oh well. All right, so I'm gonna build. I'm going to spend money to build in the dirt. Where are you, dirt? Four dollars. Uh, take out of a 10, give me back six. Boom. For those six, I, you know, I should have upgraded that, whatever. It's over. I get my shop. See, my brain's already starting to shut down. There we go. I get my shop and I raise my income up by five. I'll take it. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. If you are following me, please give me a like or let me know. Or if this is nonsense, that's fine. Let me know where the nonsense is. There's surely plenty. That was one action. So one. Now I'm going to... Uh, am I going to upgrade or am I going to build another? What's going to get me the most money? An upgrade is only going to increase my income by two. And I want to do my upgrades over here. So right now I'm just building stuff. Can I move somewhere and build again? I can. One two, nope, three, four, five. I can move there, five, or there, six, or there, seven. We're gonna move six. Spend one. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's my next action. My final action is going to be to build another shop. So let's do it. Let's build a shop in the dirt, same amount. It's gonna cost four. And I'm gonna place my shop right there it is adjacent super cool i've got my adjacent shop and i get five income for that so we're going to be at 17. not too horrible and that is the end all right fantastic next round income phase i get 17 10 15 16 17 that's all right it's not horrible could be a lot better and I get two more activity cards one and two I'm gonna use up some game board space here upgrade a, an adjacent Victorian to landmark for three less or upgrade an adjacent shop to a business for two less these are adjacent so I'm now in the zone for my bonus cards pretty sure we've got one one, two, three, yep, everything from this row over. So I'm where I need to be, and I can move to the pier space if I want, or upgrade any cottage to a Victorian or any Victorian to a landmark for two less, and that's any, which is super useful. Um, I don't have to follow adjacency rules. Whatever, I'm taking too long, boom. Next event, President Vacations in Cape May. Really, I hope things go well. If spring or summer, each player collects $5. Give it to me. If fall or winter, each player collects $2 instead. Well, it's not, so get over that. There we go. Oops, season start. I go over here. Move my little guy to the season start. So they're going to get two cards for summer. Let's build in the summer. Bottom left, that's a, a house. Boom. There you go. Lovely house by the beach. And now we get to advance on the bird track the first time. All right, not good, not good at all. Second card, since it's the beginning of summer, we're gonna build in this spot, which is a cottage. Lovely, getting some cottage, not quite on the beach, but near a little farm there. And bird track advances, no good. And shuffle, whatever, whatever. Shuffle your discard pile as if I care, as if I care. I don't care. There we go. My turn. Three actions. I'm going to use one of my upgrades. So I'm going to upgrade an adjacent shop to a business for two less. So discard. Uh, and this is a dirt upgrade. Cost four dollars. Two less would be two dollars. I'm going to pay one and two dollars to upgrade to a shop and I also get a bonus card in the dirt so I can upgrade to a cottage to a Victorian for one less or draw two and keep one. You may treat diagonally adjacent lots as adjacent or three points at the end of the game. 
I'll take three points and we're just gonna put those all over there just like that it's getting crowded and that's okay because I'm gonna put my money over here there we are and this gets put at the bottom of the deck love it all right so that was one action playing that activity card I don't think I need to yeah the rest are upgrades so I just need to move or you know what I can build while I'm right here why not I'm gonna build a cottage in the dirt although cottages are worth more Victorians are worth more in the sand but you know what I'm here so we're doing it build residential in the dirt cost three dollars one two and three and it is adjacent so I'm gonna build that cottage and I realize I forgot to do something when I upgraded my shop to my business I should have increased my income by two fantastic now I have built a cottage in the dirt which is going to raise me by two more I'll take it that was my second action now I'm going to use an activity card for my third action I'm going to upgrade uh, I don't want to use the any cottage because whatever I'm gonna do it any cottage to a Victorian right there or any shop to a business you know what that's what I'm gonna do I'm going to upgrade any shop to a business which would give me two income and another bonus card in the gravel not bad uh, you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna upgrade any shop so I'm gonna upgrade this gravel shop yes for two so give me back three this might be really stupid on it give me back three upgrade and give me two income and a bonus in the gravel give me one and two keep one uh, draw a bird token absolutely we're gonna do that immediately put this on the bottom draw a bird token good so that's at least two points for that collection so far and you can remove that from the game that's too much work for me so I'm just gonna make a discard pile for all bonus cards or whatever we call them you know upgrade cards over there cool that was my third action end of round next round event phase what's happening migratory bird treaty act established each player draws a bird token all right if it's spring or fall which it's not so it doesn't matter what is it all right good so we've got five points now so these bird these uh, bird collections are really worth something bonuses related to drawing bird tokens are not applied not a problem man not a problem AI is gonna build in the summer bottom right there we go right on the beach our very first actual like beach shop has been built in Cape May upgrade track upgrade a shop to the business in the grass any red shops negative so we go to dirt negative sand yep we just got one boom there we are and we are going to gain the sand upgrade card that is face up boom there you go okay my turn three actions did i finish you out oh, nope you have to shuffle oh my gravy pretty sure you built right there oh my gravy but who really knows i don't know okay first action is going to be to do stuff and it's probably going to be to do some upgrades i would like to upgrade or move nine spaces Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, to get me started up there. Or I can upgrade. 
I'm gonna upgrade while I'm right here. I'm gonna upgrade to a Victorian in the dirt. Where are you, dirt? Victorian, there, three dollars. One, two, three. Oh, it's five dollars, excuse me. Five dollars to upgrade to a Victorian. Oh, use the discount, yeah, whatever. Let's use it. Let's use it. Discount of two. So that's my one action is play that activity card. So it would normally be five, now it costs three. Because of the discount, let's upgrade. Put you right there, like that. That was one action. And for my next action, I'm going to go ahead, I'm not gonna worry about landmarks yet. That's later in the game. I don't have the money for that, I've got 11. So I'm gonna move, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, that does me no good, six, seven, that does me no good, six, seven, that does me some good. And I can build something on the beach. And I forgot when I upgraded that to add to my income of plus one, cool. Let me build a, yeah, let me build a cottage there. So play a seven, that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yay, going down Jackson and to right there. That's my second action. And I'm going to use my third action to build a cottage. So we're gonna pay four to get a cottage on the beach, on the sand. And that raises my income by six, ah, oh, three, three coins. One, two, three. And that was my third turn. Next, it's going down. Great Atlantic Hurricane slams the coast. Each player randomly discards uh, summer four movement cards. Awesome. There's one. I don't have three more, so what that means is I have to start discarding one activity card for each coin that I can't. So that's all my activity cards. Boo. Boo. All right, well, that was fun. What a lovely hurricane. All right, so we are going to recover from that hurricane. Oh my goodness. We're gonna build in the summer and you're gonna be right there in the dirt, a nice cottage getting close to the beach. That's right, cleaned up after the hurricane, it's going all right. And then we are moving on the bird track. And that is, you know, that is just in a bad spot because it's hard for me to slide these cards. So I might have to find a better system. My turn, first turn, I would like to get all of my movement cards back. There we go, boom. Next turn, I would like to upgrade this to a Victorian, yes sir. So no activity cards, so to upgrade a cottage to a Victorian cost me six. Oh my goodness. I don't know if this is the time for this. So out of 10, I get four back. Two, three, and four. Man, that was Brutalis. We're gonna put you there. Brutalis, Brutalis. And we're gonna upgrade you to a Victorian, and that actually only gives me one income so that wasn't super smart i don't think whatever that's life second action third action let's get out of paris how about that how about we just get out of paris one two three so that i can or you know what move one and build a shop to get a little more income for my final two rounds let's do that let's move one more so i can build that shop because that's life. One more. Pay one, which is gonna cost me two, to move one lovely space, just like that. That is my last action, back to zero. Income phase, and summer has ended. We are into the fall, love it. Income phase, how much do I get? 28, give it to me. Gotta find a place for that bag. 10, 20, five, six, seven, and Eight. 28, super cool. 
And two activity cards. Yes, please, Gravy Davis. Build and or upgrade two times any buildings diagonally adjacent to your current space. So I could upgrade that one. Not bad. Um, so I can actually build and upgrade. Oh, awesome. This is useful. Build and or upgrade two times any buildings in the dirt or sand zones adjacent to your current space. So I could use that to do one thing and any buildings in the dirt or sand adjacent. All right, so these might be useful, whatever. That's my income phase. Moving on, we're in the fall now. Here we go, I'm just gonna hold it. I need to build in the fall. We're gonna build right there. Put a little house, there you go. Oops, I forgot to move you to the start of the season. There you go, season start, fall, plus um, I do two cards because we're playing super hard. All right, upgrade, a cottage to a Victorian and a shop to a business. Well, that's crazy, Badania. There we go, cottage to Victorian in the dirt. I don't see one, oh, there's one, okay. Cottage to Victorian in the dirt. There you go, entrance on the street. And, oh my goodness, and a shop to a business. This is brutal. All right, it's difficult. I'll give him that. Starting in the dirt, don't see one. Don't see one. I don't see one anywhere. All right, so upgrade again. Why not? Victorian to a landmark in the dirt. Uh, Yeah, you got one. And that was that. And congratulations, they get to go again. <sighs> Building in the fall, there's already something there. So we go to winter and there is nothing there. This is, I mean, it's a beautiful town. It's a red town. And upgrade, because why not? Cottage to Victorian and a shop to a business. <sighs> Boy, that's brutal. Unbelievable. All right, cottage to Victorian in the dirt. Here you go. Right there, gonna run out of Victorians. And a shop to a business. Starting in the dirt and going downward. Nope, and yep. There you go. Oh my gracious, that was brutal. Did I do an event card? I think I did. No, I didn't, I didn't. All right, I should have done that first. Howls of Emlick, physique, ghost, frightens birds. Do not draw bird tokens after moving to a bird space this round. Well, that's, that's life, okay. Now it's my turn. First action, I'm gonna use an activity card to build an up and or upgrade two times any building in the dirt or sand adjacent to your current space. It's gonna be that one. So I'm gonna build, and it has to be adjacent. Oh, I wish I was somewhere else. So I might save that, but anyway, I'm gonna play that and I'm gonna build and upgrade. So for one action, I get to build for five dollars, the shop, there's five. Place the shop, income goes up by six. Two, three, four, five, six. And I have one more income phase and I'm gonna need it. And then I'm gonna upgrade. So I'm gonna pay five dollars. One, two, whatever. I'm just gonna put a 10 and bring back five. Pay five, upgrade to a business. There we go, income goes up by two, and I get a sand upgrade. Two points for each of your businesses for a maximum of six. That's two, four, six, that's guaranteed six. That's great. I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna flip this over. So I, I made the right choice, because that was four points. Cool. That was one action. For my uh, next action, I could I could upgrade while I'm right here, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. 
It's a bit of a waste because I can't take two actions. Um, no, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to move one, two, three spaces. Build. Boy, this is crazy. This is crazy. No, you know what? We're getting close to the end. I just, no, no, no. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cry. That's what I'm going to do. One, two, three. I'm going to move three spaces and cry about it. One, two, three. I'm going to play an activity card. My two diagonal. So I can build an upgrade two times in any diagonally adjacent space. That's these. So I'm going to build a cottage and a shop in the sand. So cottage in the sand cost me four. One, two, three, and four. No discounts. There's my cottage. And it is going to give me three income. One, two, three. I'm also going to build a shop for five dollars, five coins. Put my shop there. And that's going to give me six coins. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And that is life. That's my second action. Oh no, moving was my second. Activity card was my third. And we're done with that round. I gotta move faster. I don't wanna lose y'all. All right, what do you think? Let me know what other decisions you would make for upgrading this beautiful town. Federal grant received from Urban Renewal Association. All build and upgrade actions in the gravel and grass zones cost $1 less this round. That's great. I'm, I'm not going to make it there. So whatever. Okay. It is fall. So we are building right there. It's getting crowded down here. It's getting crowded. Stay out of my space. Thank you. And bird token. So move one on the bird track. Upgrade once. I don't like that at all. Victorian to landmark in the dirt. And what do you know? We have one. It's valid. Look at all these landmarks. This is crazy potatoes. That's what that is. My actions now. I get three actions. These are diagonally adjacent. I have no activity cards, so I can't upgrade them. Um, and I'm only going to get to draw two more activity cards. I'm not going to waste time. I'm just going to move and hope for the best. One, two, three, four lets me build a cottage or shop anywhere on the board for $5. I don't know if I really care about that. I don't. I really don't. So one, two, three, four. May as well go up. Four five i need to be in the dirt and sand um if i go that way I'm, i have to keep going up so i'm gonna go this way i guess and then come back down and hope for the best because that's life one two three four five six sure it's kind of a painful one but i don't know if it was wise one two three four five and six did i pay one coin I don't know if I did. I think I did. So I may have just thrown away a coin. That's life. One action. Next one, I'm going to build a cottage in the dirt. Cottage in the dirt costs three. Give me back seven. There we go. All right. Cottage in the dirt, please. Look at that. This town is really building up really along the coast. You'd think we'd build up here more first, but that's just not the way I played it. And I don't think it's gonna pay off. All right, I built for my second action and I gained my income of two. One, two, good, that money's going up. For my next action, I may as well upgrade to a Victorian while I'm right there. Pay five, upgrade to a Victorian, just like that. Boom, that's my third action and that gets me one coin boom just like that and once your income goes that high um life just starts going crazy doesn't it yeah yeah we'll just have to 
flip it over to the 50 side pretty soon here. All right. Anyway, that was my third action. I'm pretty sure I moved, I built, I upgraded. Zero. Love it. Fall. Invention of Pullman Sleeping Car increases tourism. Each player collects $2 for each Victorian and landmark they own in the gravel and grass zones. Each Victorian and landmark they own in gravel and grass. I don't have either. Um, if it's fall, also collect $2 for each Victorian and landmark in the dirt. I'll do it. One, two, uh, that's two, so that's four dollars. One, I'll take it. One, two, three, and quadrangia. There we go. Boom. What you gonna play? Building in the fall is going to put you right here. There's a cottage. There you go. Building up downtown, not bad. And move on the bird track. I don't like that at all. Moving crazy on that bird track. Leave me alone. My actions, last one for fall. I'm going to upgrade to a landmark if I have money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know I don't. So I'm going to move two, four, seven, five. Um, I need to build in this zone. I can go all the way over here and then go up and over and hope for the best. Or I can go this, I can go one, two, three, four, and five is what I'm gonna do and set myself up for the next round. No, that's stupid. That's stupid. I'm in trouble. One, two, three. Do I have a three? No, I have a two. Um, one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Do I have a six? No. I have a five, six, seven. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. First turn. There we go. I went on the pier. That means I get to draw three. Is it three or four? I really wish it told you. I, you know, I'd have to check the book. I think it's draw three, keep two. All right, upgrade any cottage to a Victorian, any Victorian to a landmark, any cottage to a Victorian, move 10 spaces or build on any l empty lot on Madison. Does me no good. So any Victorian to a landmark, good. I want these two. Those are exactly what I needed. Um, so that's my first turn. For my next turn, I'm... Um, I don't have to worry about upgrading anymore. Any, any. So now I need to move over here. One, two, three, four. Do I have a four? Yeah. Four. One, two, three, four. That's my second action. And I can start upgrading these. So I have these two cards. Let me upgrade this to a, a shop. Yes. Although the Victorians are worth more, whatever. I'm about to have my last income phase. Let's do it now. Upgrade for $5 to upgrade to a business. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, and five. Boom. Upgrade to a business. Just like that. I'm not even worried about majorities, and I know I'm going to pay for it. That's going to kill me at the end. And income goes up by two, one, and... Two, we're at 50. And get the sand either four points straight up or draw two. I just want the straight up four points, honestly. I'll take it. Um, two points for each of your Victorians in the dirt for six maximum. Uh, that would have been better for me. Um, possibly. I only have two in there. So who knows? Anyway. That was my third action, and we're done with the round. Income phase, fall has ended. We've made it to winter. We are just flying. All right, gain my income of 50, please. Thank you. Two, three, 40, and 50. Boom. So I have 52. That's five landmarks. I only need three, so maybe I'll be able... To, I don't know. We'll see how much time I have. 
And two activity cards. Yes, I'll take it. Upgrade any cottage to Victorian, shop to business, or same exact deal. Yeah, whatever. Okay, it is event time. Landmark homes recognized by Congress. This should be good. Upgrading a Victorian to a landmark costs $2 less this round. That helps me. And AI. Uh, what are you going to do, founder? You're going to build in the winter. If it's winter, they get to build twice. Plus, it's the season start. So they also draw another card, which basically means this is total annihilation. Um, so there's a shop in the middle of town there and they get to build again there's no other winter spot so we go to spring which is right below and they get a nice little cottage right there yeah whatever and an upgrade hey why not cottage to victorian in the sand um do we have a cottage of course they do i'll tell you what though they're going to run out of victorians these founders and it's the first season start, so they get another card. So challenging is actually very challenging. <sighs> Build in the winter. There you go. Shop right there. And it's not springtime. Thank gravy. Upgrade a Victorian to the landmark in the sand. Why not, you know? Why not? Where's the sand? Right there. There you go lovely little landmark there boom and we're done my three turns we're almost at the end so it's time to ramp this up it's time to upgrade any cottage to a victorian for one less so that's my one action and that upgrading a in the sand is going to be four minus one that's going to cost me three so whatever, give me back seven, five, six, seven to upgrade you to a Victorian. There you go. Cool. Now we're going to upgrade to a landmark. That's going to cost 10. I'm not going to use my cards for that. I'm going to pay 10 and upgrade. There we go. Boom. All right, that's my second action. My next action is probably going to be to go, that will be, I have a card for that, I have a card for that, but I don't have a card for this. So I'm gonna have to go this way, as much as I hate to. Do I have a three? No, I have a two and a five. One, two, doesn't do me any good, three, four, five it works that's what i'm doing i'm playing five and we're moving right there uh that's my third action and end of the round next event only two rounds left mosquito swarms dampen tourism that's going to be bad each player pays one dollar for every two buildings they own rounded up that's horrible for if fall or winter each player collects one dollar for every two buildings owned rounded down instead good it worked in our favor every two buildings the buildings are i believe everything everything they're not just shops businesses cottages or victorians or landmarks they're everything all right so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i have ten divided by two is five rounded down whatever i get five cool let me know in the comments if i got that wrong please and if you're totally lost let me know if this is helpful let me know with a like so other people can find this what do you think of the cape may idea of building this town do you feel like we're really building a town let me know about that all right ai turn move we are building in the winter upper left there's your cottage advance on the bird track this is awful reshuffle the deck knew that was coming soon love it 
Love it, downtown, there we go. Reshuffle the deck and um, I think that's done. So my turn, first turn should be obvious, upgrade to a landmark. Yes, I'm gonna pay 10 and I'm going to upgrade to a landmark on the beach that does not raise any income. Next, I'm going to move. How many spaces? Um, I mean, I can play my card or instead, or I can just refill. No, you know what? I'm going to use my, I'm going to use my activities. I'm just going to use them. So I'm going to upgrade any cottage, any Victorian to a landmark. Boom. For a discount of two. So I'm going to pay eight, five, six, seven, eight. I can ignore ad adjacency rules. I'm going to upgrade that one since it's a little distance. There we go. And you are now a landmark. Cool. Oh. I am causing myself problems because landmarks are not Victorians. My bonus is to have the most Victorians. So I'm gonna have to run over here and build a Victorian. Life hurts and it's hard. Or I can just run up there and build a Victorian. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. In that region, if you have at least four buildings in each of the, these zones. I have four buildings in the sand. I need, I have four buildings in the dirt. All right. Talking to myself, stuff. Um, that was my second action, right? Landmark, activity card, and another activity card. Any Victorian to a landmark. That's my third action. And I'm gonna pay 10. Ooh. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough to build what I need to build. I'm worried. Um, I may have made a fatal flaw. It's any, so I don't have to pay attention to adjacency. How did... I have a feeling that I should have 10 more. Because 1, 2, 3, 4. I think I already paid for it. I'm going to say I paid for it because I shouldn't be that low on funds. I got 50 and I've paid 30. Or f Yeah, so... Something's up. All right. If I got that wrong, come back. Let me know. War Hero Builds Chalfonte Hotel A. Cool. In turn order, players who own at least one building adjacent to an empty commercial lot may immediately pay to build a shop on one of those these lots without spending an action. That's awesome. So that's immediate. Um, that won't give me Victorians, though. So, like, I could build something there. Um, one building adjacent to an empty commercial lot. So I could build there. Or, and that's, or there. But is it worth anything? Is it any good? Is it any good? Um, I'm not going to do it. Let's just keep moving. All right. Did I move up? Did I move up? Oh my goodness, y'all are gonna see, I get to the end of the game and I start to fry. Um, I don't know. I did season start on the first one and this was my second, so we are here. I turned that over, AI, correct me if I got that wrong. If it's winter, build twice, end me. Build in the winter, you're gonna build right there um, it's already occupied. Spring is occupied. Summer is occupied. Fall is occupied. Goodbye. Build a second time. Well, they're all occupied. Really, I mean, couldn't go better for me. Thank you. Upgrade once. Upgrade a cottage to Victorian in the sand. There you go. Boom. And we have not run out of Victorians somehow. Cool. And that is, uh, that's their turn. That's their last turn. We made it. My last turn is now 
to build stuff and uh, gracious goodness I don't have enough turns I don't think I need to get there so first turn grab all my movement cards second turn one two three four move four spaces one two three four nope I'm not gonna have enough build a cottage for how much it's not going to be a Victorian, so I'm going to be, I lose those two points. Oh well, you know, that's what I chose to do. So build this for whatever. Where's my brain? Grass. Residential. Pay two dollars. Just in case, just to make sure I have dominance, I guess. All right. Pay $2 to build. Income goes up. It doesn't matter at this point, but we'll do it. And that is it. I don't get to use this. That's my third turn. All right. Cape May is done for the year. This is year one in Cape May. This is what we've built. Let's go to scoring. All right. Let's do the points. So I'm going to do the... AI opponent first, and we're gonna see how much I got clobbered. 18 points for birds, so 18, cool. And bonus cards, you know what, did I get enough bonus? One, two, three, I missed a bonus. They should have a grass bonus that I forgot. So they should have three. So that's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and now we're going to do Victorians and Landmarks. So Victorians in the gravel. Where are you at? One. One Victorian in the gravel. That's one point. Victorians in the grass. Um, none. Okay. Victorians in the dirt. One. That's one. So that's three points. One, two, three. And then Victorians in the sand, one for four points, one, two, three, four. And now let's do landmarks. In the gravel, none. In the grass, none. Two in the dirt, one and two and three actually in the dirt. So that's nine, 18, that's 27. We're at 35, so 45, 55 and seven there we go and we're gonna pop out our 50 points so we know that they are above that oh and now they're landmarks in the sand one and two oh those are mine one i hope i didn't do that for other things one that's 10 points right oh no 11 so 12 so 23 so 73 and then our building majorities. Let's go ahead and do those and I'll count my points for it too. In the gravel, who has the most buildings? Red, we don't even need to look. Eight points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's good to pay attention to. Build up in the gravel, it's cheaper just for that majority score, goodness. In the grass, who has the majority? Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four one two three four we split it in half they get three one i get three all right i'm on the board with three points dominance in the dirt the dirt one two three four five six i think they got it man i really tried to one two three four no they got it one, two, three, four. All right, sand. One, two, three. And I got one, two, I got four, the one that matters least. Two points. All right, so they are at 88 points. Now we do my score. Let's start with birds. I have a collection of three. That's five points. One, two, three, four, five. And bonus, uh, not bonus, um, yeah, these cards, upgrade cards. Uh, two for each business, six maximum. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Whoops, I think it was 16. Uh, four, one, two, three, four, and three. One, two, and three, cool. And then my end of game bonuses, if I have at least three buildings in the dirt and at least three in the sand, I do, I do. Two, if you have at least four buildings in each zone, I do, so that's eight points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, cool. And then have the most buildings in the depicted region. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, they actually have six, seven, I have eight, so that was pretty close. Um, two, if you have the most Victorians, I do not. So I get eight points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I'm at 39, they're at 88. That's all the bonus cards. Now money, I have 10, so that's one point. Cool, we made it to 40. That's all my special stuff. Now we've already done majorities. It's just Victorians and landmarks. Uh, let's just see where I have Victorians. Look at that, I don't have any. Easy. Landmarks, I have them in the dirt and the sand. So in the dirt, one and two. So that is 18 points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 10. There we go, so put my little 50. You know, I didn't get clobbered as bad as I thought. Um, and then I have one, two, two landmarks in the sand, that's 22, so 16, 26, 27, 28. That's the end of the game. I'm at 28 to 40. If there's a tie, AI opponent wins the game. Thank you so much for watching this playthrough. Be sure to check out this video for how to play if you would like to do this yourself. Thank you. I love you all. See you next time.